we jump into our Iger discussion of recently the Disney Vac- Disney Vacation Club had their annual condo association meeting. And actually, if you're a DVC fan, some pretty good news came out. Several resorts are now scheduled for refurbishment starting at the end of 2022, which we're at now, through 2024. And I have those to go over with you. Um, now they have two segments here. Several resorts are going to be going under a hard goods, which is basically a full refurbishment of the room. And then there are several that are going to be a soft goods refurbishment, which is, you know, your it could be a paint job. It could be carpet. It could be minor um, um, furniture changes, et cetera, but nothing, you know, not, not a full refurbishment. So first I'll start off with the soft goods refurbishment. Walter, you should be happy with this. Beach Club Villas and Vero Beach in sometime in 2023 will be going under a soft goods refurb. So your favorite re- your favorite resort, Walt. Yeah. We'll be getting a little little spruced up. A little touch up. It didn't really need it, but that's nice to hear. Hey. Her dues are paying for it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then over for the hard goods, which is basically a full refurbishment like uh, which recently uh, took place over at Saratoga, Old Key West. Um, Boulder Ridge is now underway. And real quick, Walt, I actually saw um, one of the groups I follow on Facebook. A person was um, over at Boulder Ridge, and then they got moved from the room, and they actually got moved into one of the new rooms, and they posted a bunch of pictures of it. You know, like you and I, we saw the artist rendering when we talked about it several months ago. It looks pretty good. It was a nice looking room. I think they did a good job. Like I said, not exactly, and I think you agree. It's not exactly our theme, but it looked a heck of a lot better than what Boulder Ridge used to look like. Um, so yeah, Boulder Ridge is going to be present through 2023. Hilton Head, which is in South Carolina, that is starting sometime in 2023. And uh, as we previously discussed on multiple shows in the past, the Boardwalk Villas will be starting in 2023. And finally, in 2024, a very popular Bay Lake Tower. Mm-hmm. So those are the uh, the hard goods refurbishment schedule from the Disney Vacation Club. Now, did you ever stay at Boulder Ridge? No. Okay, no, I, I have heard not that... stayed at Wilderness Lodge. We had one time we had a wait list. We were at Saratoga, and we did a wait list for over there, and it did not come through. Mm-hmm. So I, I have had... yet to stay there. I had heard that Boulder Ridge was in need, desperate need of uh, of a refurb. Uh, between pictures I've seen, and I've seen people do, other vloggers do, um, you know, when they vlogged the room, and it was, yeah, it was not. They were not. They definitely, definitely needed it. They mm. definitely needed some TLC, and they're finally getting it. So I think people who own there, and I think it will become much popular now once it goes through its refurbishment, just like Saratoga. Now Saratoga has been talked about a lot more recently since it's refurbishment. They did an excellent job there. And I'm not just saying that because I own there. They did. Let me ask you a question though. Do you feel that this, that these rooms get beat up by the DVC folks or, or is it by the cash side of it? Because it just seems like some of these rooms are, are in pretty rough shape. Well, when you look at a Walt, there's certain resorts, say like boardwalk, you have the villa side and you have the inside. So, any of the damage, unless they move somebody over there because there's an issue, it's DVC people staying there. Mm-hmm. Now you take Old Key West, you take Saratoga, that those resorts are 100% quote unquote vacation clubs. However, a portion of those rooms are sold out to cash paying, you know, um, patrons. Mm-hmm. So it, it, it's a combination of both. And and I've seen articles and I've heard discussions where oh well it's it's other people beating up the rooms. It's it's everybody not taking care of it. Yeah. You know I've seen iron marks uh, on stuff like how do you put your iron down on the table? Right. Like like face down. Like how do you do that? You know what I mean? Would you? My thing opinion is would you do that at home? Right. I wouldn't. You know, but th- theoretically, though, you, know, you you could say that it's really more DVC people that are damaging it because the chances of of the cash side of it's th- th- they're probably not staying there as often mm-hmm. as a DVC member would. So probably the majority of the stays are probably DVC members that are staying. 
Probably. But like I said, you have to, depending on the resort, you have s- certain resorts that you have a cash side and, and, and the rooms look completely different, mm-hmm. you know, like, but unlike, you know, like Saratoga, Old Key West, there are two of them right there that are, you know, quote unquote, the, all those rooms are for Disney vacation club members. However, a portion of them do get sold off. You know, you're allowed to uh, purchase them to stay. Mm-hmm. So uh, it's a combination of both, but to think that, you know, we're probably going to get DVC, DVC hate mail now, but um, you know, certain no, no, people, nobody, nobody watches this. From <laughs> <DVC> <laughs> ever, <okay? laughs> but but let's face it. Some people, they don't take care of it because they don't think it's theirs. Right. Even though you're paying thousands of dollars a year in dues. So, yeah, I'm excited though. Boulder That's Ridge good. definitely needed it. Uh, I was reading some of the articles. They were a little shocked with um, Hilton Head or Vero Beach, but hey, if they're going to refurb it, let them do it. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Um, all right, so let's uh, let's head over to our main story, which is the Bob Iger.